Hi, I'm Misal Turakya. I'm the co-founder and chief product officer of Stepside Go. Till now, uh, healthcare, unless you went to a doctor, was always generic things that you could try and read and you'd have to draw a parallel to see if it applies to you. Uh, but now I think more and more uh, as time goes on, apps will start tracking more and more data about you and get smarter and learn about you, right? Uh, and be able to tell you when you are in trouble or you need to pay attention to something and recommend actions to you. Uh, that's where I actually see the future of apps going, uh, especially healthcare apps, for example. Uh, also, because of the cloud, because of uh, because of the new like smartwatches, fitness trackers, so many smart devices, uh, I think that even health data, base health data, uh, which is to do with your fitness progress, etc., and your just basic metrics. Uh, will always be accessible to you on your at your fingertips um, and you will be able to see trends and you'll be able to see it uh, which is already the case actually and the next step is just looking at all of that and kind of telling you okay you're doing fine or you're not doing fine or you need to do this better and that's where I think healthcare apps are headed um, which will of course eventually also be smart enough to figure that you have diabetes but you're not walking enough today or you should walk a little bit more you should drink a little more water uh, and we'll start getting super specific. So because of the personalization, uh, I think that one of the huge problems of healthcare, which is awareness and accessibility, that will be solved through technology. Uh, not 100%, but the 90, 95%, which is common trends and patterns, which is easily recommended, that will be done, that will be handled through your phone or through some kind of app or device, uh, shielding doctors and letting them only kind of work on the eventual really tough cases. That's kind of where I see the app space going. There are thousands of apps I think that release a year if you look at the entire global scale, scope to healthcare, fitness, etc. Uh, there are a lot of apps uh, and everyone is, everyone is doing some kind of niche to most extent. Some are doing a little more generic. Uh, but the problem that everyone faces, especially with, with fitness and with health, with more fitness than health, so to say, is that there is a very clear uh, attrition rate to fitness apps in general. So uh, you will get the user, no problem. But in, in one, two weeks, he will quit your app or the app uh, and blame the app saying this didn't motivate me or whatever, I got bored of this, etc. Whereas actually it's a human pattern that unless you are really motivated to get fit or in some way or the other, you will drop out of that fitness. So the same thing happens in gyms all the time. Uh, and that's a that's the single biggest trouble I think that all fitness apps really face, which is how do you get a critical mass of users to stay engaged with the fitness that you are trying to propagate. And that is the biggest problem and I don't think it's well solved by anyone really, right? Uh, all the big, I'm sure all the big apps face it. Uh, we can see it if you can see any kind of retention numbers. You'll see it's always a big problem, uh, and that's also actually a big opportunity if you can find a way to trigger a user into finding that one thing that he enjoys doing, which is also good for him, which is some kind of fitness activity, and then you're able to kind of bring the benefits of technology into that. That would be a huge opportunity, according to me. Most fitness apps either tell you a metric or show you some kind of content and expect you to follow either, right? Either just track the metric or follow the content, pretty much, right? Uh, Step Set Go obviously tells you the metric, but also actually adds a whole bunch of layers under it to try and ensure that you keep improving this metric, right? What I, simple example of course is steps. When you walk, we have built in multiple layers of gamification and we've actually built a social network and a reward system which all come together to motivate you in many different ways depending on what actually makes you tick. And that's where I think Stepside goes different. Uh, most platforms are just saying, are just an enabler of fitness, right? Which means they'll show you what you need to do uh, or show you what you've done. But no one's really kind of ensuring that you keep doing it and you enjoy that. And that actually is the biggest problem in fitness because it's not so tough to figure how to do a push-up. It's much tougher to do it every day for the next five years. And that's what Steps Ago is focused on. So uh, it's been about three years, three, three and a half years for us. Uh, and till now Steps Ago majorly has been an app that rewards you through many ways for walking. Uh, recently, earlier this year, we added running and cycling. Uh, 
uh, but for us the future is a very wellness focused one uh, the idea we've always kind of tried to ensure that we are able to get the everyday user a little bit fitter right our focus is not the niche uh, fitness audiences so for us now the next step is actually to start first of all start tracking and then eventually start gamifying the other aspects of a person's life that is crucial to keep them fit and that for us is what the next year or two is going to be about uh, we also we have a couple uh, ideas and plans uh, around how to do that how to make it easier to track fitness and how to actually use these track me- metrics and make them useful and personalized to a user so that's what i think is going to be our near future uh, we've just raised around our, around our money so we're looking at about a 6 8 month period where we really start accelerating our growth uh, growth our user numbers etc to try and reach some kind of product market fit uh, and then and once we feel like we've achieved that uh, it's completely onwards and upwards and series a etc